When solving equations, the solution sometimes requires finding a square or cube root of both sides of the equation. We've looked at when you need to use a square root, but now let's examine when you need to use a cube root. You need to use a cube root when the equation simplifies down to x cubed equals a number because you must find the cube root of both sides in order to find the value of x in order to get that variable isolated or completely alone on that left side of the equal sign. So let's take a look at some examples. Our first example, we have solved the equation 5x cubed equals 40. Now, right away, we're solving for x, so we want to get that variable alone, completely isolated on the left side of the equal sign. Well, right now it's not alone. It's being cubed and multiplied by 5. So right away, it's good to note we cannot automatically take the cube root here because x cubed is not isolated. Remember, in order to take the cube root, we have to see just x cubed equals a number. And right now, it's not just x cubed. It's x cubed multiplied by 5. So the first thing we need to do is divide by 5. We need to divide each side by that coefficient in order to get x cubed isolated by itself. When we divide by both sides on the left, that achieves our goal of getting x cubed by itself. And now 40 divided by 5 is 8. So we get x cubed equals 8. So now we can take the cube root of each side, giving us that our answer is x equals 2. Here's a second example. We have x cubed divided by 9 equals 3. So again, Right away, when we're asked to solve, we're trying to isolate or get that variable x by itself. And it's not, it's being cubed, but it's also being divided by 9. So before we can take the cube root, we have to undo that dividing by 9 by multiplying by 9. When we do that to each side, we get x cubed equals 27. And now our equation is in the form x cubed equals a number. So we're allowed to take the cube root of each side. And that leaves us with our answer, x equals 3. So when solving equations, we may have to use the cube root. But again, it's really important to get our equation with x cubed isolated or alone equaling a number before we can use that cube root.